What's up dolls? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey and today I am back with my quarantine favorites. Yes. So during this time I've accumulated a lot of things that have been one, keeping me sane. Two, helping me glow up for post quarantine. One of my favorite things has been like matching sweatsuits from Misguided. I did a whole quarantine inspired haul video, like quarantine and chill vibes, super cozy outfits. So I have this really cute bomb set. I think it was like $20 for both the top and the bottom that came together. So I definitely upped my little quarantine fits. And I think it's very affordable, so that's why I did that video. If you guys want to see more inspo on what I've been wearing throughout quarantine, definitely go check that out. But I'll link my favorite sets in the description box below for those of you guys that need to revamp your loungewear and like your cozy, comfy clothes. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I drink more coffee in quarantine than I did before quarantine. And it's just like, what do you need the caffeine for? Oh, I know. To watch more episodes of Netflix, you know, you gotta stay awake. Cause yes, we are still watching. So one of my favorites when it comes down to coffees at home, because you know, I'm not leaving my house for Starbucks. And even before quarantine, I wasn't going out to Starbucks. So I created my own Starbucks drink at home that I would typically get when I would go to Starbucks. So the easiest thing to do is just go buy the Starbucks syrup so you can add it to your lattes and your coffees at home. And boom, here it is you guys. I have this up on my Amazon page if you guys are looking for it. I actually have a lot of these things on my Amazon page to make it easier for you guys to shop all of my favorites that are collectively organized by food and lifestyle and health and fitness and supplements. So when I go to Starbucks, my go-to usually is a cinnamon dolce latte. If not, it's just a basic almond milk latte. But I was like, girl, why are you paying so much to go to Starbucks when it's literally cheaper to do it all at home? And I like this because you can always control the amount of sweetness that you want in your drinks and the amount of espresso shots that you want for that day. So I highly recommend you guys get this if you are obsessed with Starbucks but you can't seem to make it out and you don't want to go out because we need to be staying home. Speaking of food favorites, I've definitely grown to love tea all over again. I used to be obsessed with tea before I liked coffee and then espresso took over my life, but now I'm back on the tea train and I've been really loving the Earl Grey by Tazo. This is absolutely amazing and I like strong tea, so what I'll do is I'll brew two tea bags and then I'll heat up some almond milk creamer and I'll make my own little tea latte at home. And it's so comforting. Tea to me is like the thing to end your night with, right? Or an afternoon pick me up. It's just like that hug from within. So I really love Tazo as a brand. They have amazing teas with great flavors. And I like the Earl Grey because it has a hint of lavender to it. It's just. It's very nice. It's very nice. So definitely check this out. I'll drop a link down below. Um, actually, it's on my Amazon page, so just go check that out. Girl, if you are still eating Top Ramen, throw that in the trash. Go get this instead. I don't know what this is called, um, but I know that it doesn't have dairy product. So Top Ramen has dairy in it, which I've learned months and months and months back. So this is like so fire, you guys. It's a little bit more expensive than your top ramen, but it's still pretty affordable for a noodle. You get actually more in here. And it's spicy. It has a really good kick on its own, and it comes with a seasoning packet with like a lot of things. It's so good, and this, this makes me love ramen at home. You can add an egg to it, literally add some vegan butter. It's so bomb. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, I'm obsessed with this and I can eat it all the time. If you like comforting food that's maybe very salty, go get you some ramen noodles. My next favorite is a fitness favorite. Now we all know that quarantine has everybody at home working on their summer bodies regardless if summer is going to be canceled or not your girl is still going to achieve all of her fitness goals. So I actually did a full video review on this, so I won't go into too much detail, but I ended up ordering the Sweet Sweat band. It's a workout band, not a waist trimmer or a corset or anything like that. This, this right here makes my home workouts more elevated. I feel like I'm actually burning more calories. I feel like I'm sweating more, which is why I wanted to get this in the first place was to elevate what I was doing because I'm not doing cardio, you know? Like I'm missing out on the Stairmaster and the 
um, treadmill. So with that, I'm not burning as many calories as I usually would when I do my workouts in the gym. So I thought that this would really, I don't know, amp up what I was doing and make it a little bit more difficult because it's so hot. Like when you wear this, it's like wearing a sauna around your stomach and that's why you sweat so much. So it definitely helps with the water weight and the bloating and mentally for me, I absolutely need this in my life. It is not expensive. This is not an ad. I paid for this with my own money as you guys know, it's $20. So you definitely can't go wrong with this and I love it. So if you want more info on that and like a true review, Definitely go check out that video that I posted and you can see all the sweat that comes off without even using the sweet sweat gel. So ooh, I really do love this you guys. It's definitely changed my workouts and even when the gyms open up again, best believe I'm going to be wearing this every single time I do my cardio because I can only imagine how much I'm going to sweat with this paired with the Stairmaster. I'm going to have gains for days, for days, okay? Okay. I guess I can count this as like a food favorite because it goes in the kitchen, but I love fun glassware. You know, like when you go out, it's an experience to have, you know, your food be presented in a nice way, to have beautiful dishes and stuff at the same time. So for me, when I'm making cocktails or I'm doing coffees and stuff like that, it's really fun to have something a little extra and special. So I have this little gimlet again it's on my amazon page if you guys are interested and they're not too expensive and you can use them for more than just one thing i do put wine in it and um it's not a wine glass but it still works like the lip is a little too thick to be a wine glass but it still looks super nice and it works for my morning lattes and mixed beverages as well as i mentioned so definitely check that out if you're looking to kind of spice up your home environment i know for me i've been really into just like the home stuff like what can i do right now around my apartment to make it feel a little bit better other than decluttering every other day which i have been guilty of so i've been into plants and i've been watching a lot of videos on youtube about plant care and the best plants that you can't kill so i definitely have um a list of some plants that I want to get for my apartment because I think during quarantine I'm going to have that green thumb like I'm I'm putting the intention out there we are going to have thriving plants in my studio apartment and it just makes me so happy to have like greenery behind me I have eucalyptus up here as well so I don't know I just love nature if I can't be out in nature why not bring it inside right tech favorites you guys it has always been a one-man show over here for me i take all of my instagram photos for the most part unless i'm out with friends or something so i decided i was going to bite the bullet and pick up this little remote and it's a bluetooth remote that pairs to your iphone and it literally is a lifesaver for me i would just use self timer on my iphone prop it up somewhere or put it on a tripod and then like pose and then run back and do it again and make sure i'm in focus so with this it is so much more convenient and faster, so much faster to take 500 photos, which I usually do anyway, <laughs> to get the right shot, you know, because it's a struggle out here. So don't let your hustle stop because you are one person and maybe you don't have the help that you would like to take your fire Instagram pics. Again, this is on my Amazon page and it is not too expensive. So honestly, I feel like everyone should have this, even if you're not like an Instagrammer or something. My next favorite, because we all have downtime, you know, I think it's nice to utilize this time to do things that you weren't doing a lot of before, like reading and journaling and meditating on the daily. I don't stress myself out enough to be like oh my god girl you need to finish a whole book today no one chapter a day is fine then i can get back to other things like netflix i love this book you guys it's the mastery of love i've talked about it in a few vlogs back here on my youtube channel now this is a great book when it comes down to self growth and kind of healing those old wounds that we've had since we were children and understanding why we are the way that we are because of the experiences that we've gone to and how those experiences kind of shape 
our life and how we see different relationships. It doesn't have to be necessarily romantic relationships, any kind of relationship, whether it be with your family members, your parents, your friends, a romantic partner. It's just such a good read that has really opened up my eyes in more ways than one to understand myself and to dig deeper within myself. So this is definitely a book to reread and I feel like when you reread it, you pick up on things that you didn't necessarily pick up on the first time. I just really like the style, the way that it's written out. It's a very light read, easy to comprehend, and it's just a pretty book. Like it's a, it's a pretty layout, the way that they have the chapters and everything. So love this for us. Now is definitely the time to work on you and to learn more about you and why you are the way that you are, why you respond to certain situations the way that you do. So highly recommend getting this book. Of course, it's on my Amazon page along with other book recommendations similar to this. You guys know I'm all about the self-improvement, being a better you than you were yesterday. And Netflix favorites, because we're all on the whole streaming thing right now. I have to tell you guys, I am obsessed with Ozark. I started that maybe a few weeks ago. I need to get back into it because I've been a little bit distracted, but it's definitely one of those shows where you have to pay attention. You can't just be on Instagram at the same time or scrolling through your YouTube feed. Like, no, you have to pay attention because you'll miss details. So Ozark was a show that I really enjoyed, still do. I also finished watching Outer Banks and I really liked that show. I shared it on my Instagram stories and I'm hoping that Netflix comes back with a season two. I've been all about the Netflix originals recently. And of course, On My Block is a favorite of mine and has been. So if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go watch it. It's so good if you're into like youth like youthful shows like I still feel very young at heart and I will always be this way so I really like shows like that they kind of show a perspective from like the children versus something very adult and extreme like Ozark is you know I like a balance in my little collection of things that I like to watch also currently obsessed with 90 day fiance <laughs> if you really want to laugh and you really just want to like indulge into something definitely check out that series it's just wild it's crazy because it's like reality and it's just like damn like life really is like that drop a comment down below with the series and the movies that you guys are enjoying during this time so that we all can have like a nice little list of things that we can check out for ourselves these are some of my favorites that i've been using on the regular religiously so that post quarantine your girl can be out here looking popping okay so uh, drunk elephant is one of my favorite skincare brands top five top five top five this is the drunk elephant f bomb and this is like halfway full i use this so often i use this in my night routine i want to say maybe two times out of the week it's an overnight like hydrating mask i don't know sometimes i wake up my skin's kind of dull and dry it could definitely use a little TLC so this is definitely a product that I've been going in with a couple times out of the week to really help refresh my skin an electrolyte water facial which I definitely think it is and it has vitamin F in it so I'm out here on my hair growth train for these brows right here so I have some castor oil here this is by Brigio I feel like I'm saying that wrong love their packaging and everything but this is hundred percent cold pressed castor oil a little bit of this goes a very long way you guys I use literally one drop I'll mix it on my fingers comb it through my brows and then whatever is left over brush through my lashes this way I can help stimulate hair growth so I can get like fuller brows I mean I'm letting my brows just do their thing at this point no one's gonna see me right now anyways so as long as they're growing I can kind of shape them once I have enough hair to work with and I want more like a full like natural look so that's why I've been going in with this you could also add it to your edges if you want fuller edges and to stimulate more hair growth and do a little bit of a massage in there as well plus it's natural and you can't go wrong with it I love this stuff the results last maybe like three or four days I would say but the concept of this is fantastic this is the Kula self tanning mist and it's a dry oil so it dries really fast on the skin there's no guide to this self tanner meaning you're not gonna have pigment transfer to your clothes or to your bedding or anything like that it literally just rubs into your skin and disappears make sure you wash your hands though after you apply but the application of this is so quick compared to like a tanning mousse granted the results last a little less and it smells so good it smells like 
actual vacation on a beach. So for me and my medium complexion, this gives me a really nice color. It's not as intense or as dark as I would say like my Saint Tropez extra dark. This is maybe like a few shades less of a tan, but you still look really nice. I know for me, I'm not getting enough sun, so I need some help. I need all the help I can do to get that lively, sun-kissed, almost summer look, you know, but from home. So definitely recommend you guys check this out. Again, not too expensive, and you can find it over on my Amazon page if you guys are looking for it. Kula in general is one of my favorite brands when it comes to skincare and all of my SPF needs. So you guys know I rock with them heavy. Next up is another hygiene product. Now this is amazing. I've been using this on and off, I would say for like seven years or so, maybe longer. But this is just a whitening mouthwash. So for me, I like whitening toothpaste and mouthwashes and stuff that give me results over time. And you don't have to sit there with strips and all that. Like you literally just put this in, swish it around for about a minute and you're good to go. So it's alcohol free, doesn't burn, has a little bit of a weird taste compared to other mouthwashes. Like it is mint, but I don't know, it's a little different. But if you're looking to brighten up your smile during quarantine, again, this is definitely something that I would highly recommend you guys check out. And if you're looking for toothpaste recommendations, I like Arm & Hammer. I know not a lot of people like it because it tastes weird, but I just grew up with Arm & Hammer and it makes my teeth white. So I can't really complain about that, but for a little glow up, this stuff will do it. Here's my last favorite. I know you guys are out there washing your hands just as much as I am. So with that, I've experienced a lot of dryness, cracked hands, bleeding a little bit sometimes. So I've been going in and really hydrating my hands as often as I can. Now, this is really good because it's not greasy, but it's thick and hydrating. Like there's not like a water base to it. Like I feel like some lotions can just feel like almost nothing, like there's no moisture, but this to me is absolutely phenomenal, and it's the Nivea Deep Moisturizing Serum with, wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Nivea Essentially Enriched Lotion with uh, almond oil and nourishing serum. Okay, great. Anyways, go get this, because it's fantastic. I do have eczema and stuff. Just, I've had it since I was a kid. It'll come through in and out of my life from time to time, but, on my hands, I notice especially that's when it gets really bad. So for me, this has just been a lifesaver at keeping my hands really hydrated and smooth without feeling like sticky. You know what I mean? Like you want to wash your hands after you put it on and it smells really fresh as well. So if you are experiencing dry hands, definitely check this out. It's probably one of my favorite lotions. I also use it on my body as well. Uh, but I think I personally prefer this as just a hand cream. But that's just me do what you do but those are all of my quarantine favorites i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i thought it would be fun to kind of share things that i'm loving and using i haven't done a favorites video also in so long so this was just like perfect timing so i would love to know some of your favorite quarantine items in the description box below what have you been using and or doing to keep sane during this time and until next time i'll catch you guys in my next video bye